Hey, this is Dave Erickson with EnduranceHour.com. If you'd like to get a free run form analysis like this one, click on the link below to sign up. When you do, you'll get an email to confirm and directions will automatically download. Hey Tina, thanks for sending me your run video for analysis. The first thing I'm looking at is cadence. How many foot strikes do you take per minute? That looks great. Um, you're taking between 90 and 95 one foot strikes a minute. I encourage you to log what kind of pace you did on the treadmill because your cadence should be within plus or minus five-ish steps per minute whether you run faster or whether you run slower. You don't necessarily slow your cadence down when you decrease your speed and you don't have a huge increase in foot strikes when you increase your speed. So you're always going to be in that 90 to maybe 85 to 100 foot strikes per minute depending on your pace. The next thing I'm looking at is your foot strike and I can see this from the side view as well as the back view. Do you strike too much on your toe or your midfoot or are you heel? So the, the most efficient foot strike for most people is a midfoot strike. So where you're t striking the ground on the bottom of your foot and that's pretty much flat foot. You don't want to um, strike on your heel because that could cause you to strike too far in front of your hips and you don't necessarily want to strike too much on your toe because that could cause some calf and Achilles problems. The heel strike could cause some knee and shin problems. So your foot strike looks good. One thing I'm also looking for from the side view is if you're striking out here, normally if you're a heel striker you would be, or if you're striking directly underneath the center of mass, which are your hips, that looks great. And then after I look at foot strike, I'm looking at posture and arm swing. When you think about running posture, think about a string pulling up on your head so you're standing straight with a slight lean forward from your ankles. When you do a slight lean forward, that kind of puts you up on the midfoot. And there's a drill called the Superman drill that you could do where you start each run running forward and then you start running. So start each run with a forward lean, start running. Doing this on the treadmill is a little bit more difficult um, to see a forward lean, but it's something that I wanted to make sure you were aware of. Um, arm posture, arm swing looks good. You want to think about keeping your shoulder blades back and down your spine. That nice 90 degree angle between your wrist, elbow, and shoulder. And think about pulling back from behind while you're trying to keep your shoulder blades back and down your spine. That all looks good. So overall, you're a really good runner. The main thing I just want you to pay attention to when you're outside, and you can do it as well as on the treadmill, is think about that forward lean and just be knowledgeable um, that everything you're doing is on the right track. Usually if someone's feeling any aches or pains, I like to look at their running form, specifically from the, the behind view, whereas if I see someone with their heel out from the, the back view or their heel internally rotated or externally rotated, um, that could tell me they have some weak glute med, glute min um, issues in here. And it, you can just, like I said, you can see it based on the heel of what they look like from the back view. You look good. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, continue to run great and make it a great day.